Okay, we don't say shovel. We say spade. That's a spade. I will call this video the autopsy of an Acadian spade and try to repair this one and also make a replica of it that I will be using in the marsh. So uh, the bottom of this one was broken and not realigned properly, four nails onto it, covered with uh, cloth uh, electrical tape a long, long time ago. The uh, spade is rusty and shorter than the one I made. The rest is all the same size. Uh, mine is longer, the new one is longer because that's the measurement I pick up from the book, which means the other one is about three quarter inch used up. Um, it was not too hard to pull out because as the uh, handle dry out a bit, uh, everything was a bit loose. Uh, I uh, make the socket with a hammer, pounding and pounding for the replica and I put rivet on it, same location as the original. The socket is about quarter of an inch wider. Uh, I really hammer a lot and try to get the same, same shape and somehow uh, just went very close to it. A bit more flat, but it's very, very close to it, except one is rounder and one is more flatter. So it just give me more wood to make the uh, handle just a bit stronger, as I intend to use that in the marsh as soon as the spring comes. The handle is uh, kept in place with a dowel and a lock and key. So slowly I took the dowel off. I marked everything. Over the years the wobbling uh, wore out the pin a little bit so it was easy to remove. Good technique. Uh, there's a little key uh, pin on top. There's the dowel. Uh, if you see the square tip of the shaft, there's a little locking pin. Basically, the more you push this into the uh, handle itself, as you push, this will expand and force uh, where it really make the thing tight in the socket. And then the pin goes in. The only marking is the file work. Uh, you can see the stock is square. Uh, probably when installed on and after that it just file to make sure it matched the roundness of the, the shaft. That's good. I've seen our picture in our books and that's just the same way. It is the tip missing, the tip missing right away inside the blade. Uh, you might see it there, and it's stuck in rust. See all the rust. So I was dislodge this eventually and see if there's any any marking on it too or anything special. I need to know about it, so I'll try to I will try to pull this piece very carefully. Next is to Reglue the base. Um, Reglue the base all lined up properly. I put a lot of marking on it. it. Took me a long time to figure out exactly the right right position. I have to uh, took the fiber inside the crack to match everything. Perfect, and I think it will work. So next, uh, I need a piece of wood uh, to replicate the handle. I'm good at woodworking. Metal was scary a little bit to do, but I did it anyway.
So is this an Acadian spade, 100% pure, Acadian? There's no marking on this one, zero marking of any sort, any numbers, any anything. I really like look and look and look. I was hoping that maybe when I take the uh, black tape off that I find uh, some marking under the black tape, but no, there was nothing there too. Okay, I was able to remove the uh, tip of uh, the handle uh, that was stuck in the bottom of the socket with it. Also came a lot of rust, and now I can see the wall was so thin that this uh, this paint cannot be reused again. Otherwise, the socket would just open. So it's um, now a reference uh, artifact and a display. And here's the handle I'll put back together. And it was three pieces, the tip and the split base, the shaft, and the handle. Okay, the handle is in great condition. Um, the uh, pin, lock and pin was very worn out, so a lot of use. It's it's so great. I was so lucky to to have this uh, spade in my hand, so I can take all the measurement out of it and try to recreate, uh, not from a book, but from the real thing. Now, as it is it Acadian hundred person or is it bought after uh, can't be sure can't be sure uh, the village was burned down here and this uh, would have been found about five years after so I don't know if it would have survived that good in the uh, unless it was in the wreck of a building somewhere and it was uh, safe from there. So, uh, I don't know, uh, but it's uh, most likely, uh, most likely it's about 1800 or before. So this is the nail I will use instead of that screw. Uh, the nail is uh, 1750. Uh, for sure, and uh, this screw is uh, maybe uh, 1900, and uh, the brake was repaired by electric tape, so maybe in the 1950 or something. The uh, realignment of the brake was badly done. And I think when they try to put the nail into it, the uh, connection shift away from the proper alignment and it never worked after that. So it went into a barn uh, for many, many years and now it's here, all re-glued. I would say repaired, but not really. Um, it's, it's too weak now to be reused, so it's just uh, repair as a good display and reference.